So here we have the new third generation Amazon Echo Show 10. This thing's got an all new design. It's got a motion enabled screen in it. We're gonna talk about all that and more in this review video. Guys, what's going on? My name is Michael. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Today we're gonna to review this new Amazon product. This does come in two different colors. The model I have here is the black one. You also have an option to get the white color as well. If you are interested in purchasing this at all, I'll leave an Amazon affiliate link down in the description below that you can click on to go purchase this. Now I did do an unboxing and setup video of this product that you might wanna check out. The setup is a little different. You get a special piece of paper inside the box. You might wanna check out that video because the setup is different with that motion enabled screen. I'll leave a link down in the comments below if you want to check out that video. Now the first and most drastic change, like I said, is the actual design. When you compare this to the second generation Amazon Echo Show 10, this looks completely different. There's now a cylinder housing unit around the actual device itself. That is where the actual speakers are held. Kind of towards the top, you have an arm to actually hold that new 10.1 inch display. It's overall just a completely different design when compared to the second generation Echo Show that came out in 2018. The way the screen actually moves is the motorized mechanism base on the bottom. When I first saw this thing, I originally thought that the arm on the back was going to be the device that actually moved it back and forth. It's actually the entire base that helps rotate the device 175 degrees, both left and right. Now, there's a lot of controversy on this design. I'm not sure what else they would have went with, being that it does have motion built in, but let me know what you guys think about this design in the comments below. I've seen some other reviews, read some other reviews, and even read some reviews on the Amazon product page. It's kind of hit or miss on whether or not you actually like this design, so let me know your thoughts. Next here, I'd like to talk about the actual hardware on this device. We've kind of touched a little bit on it already does have that 10.1 inch screen. It is an HD screen. It's got 1280 by 800 pixels. So you'll be able to get about 720p HD resolution on this thing. You do have that 13 megapixel wide angle camera. This is an improvement from the last generation and even improvement from Google's line of products. And if we take a look at it, it does also have a privacy filter here. So when we flip it, it actually puts a cover over the camera if you wanna cover it for whatever reason. And it also disables the motion feature in the actual device itself. And if you want the camera to be re-enabled again and you want the motion to start working, you just flip it back like that. Also towards the top are a few buttons. You get volume up and volume down buttons if you don't wanna use your voice or the actual touch screen. And you also get a microphone mute button here. So when we press that, it will mute the microphones on the device and it actually disables the motion because the microphones are muted as well. There are three holes. There's two at the top and one towards the center of the actual device. Those are where the actual microphones are uh, housed. You know, I'm not really sure why, but they, for some reason, put the camera over here instead of towards the center. On the second generation Echo, it was towards the center because, I mean, that kind of just makes sense. Where else would you put the camera? Why they have chosen to put it on this side, I'm not really sure. It kind of bothers me. It's not symmetrical, but not that big a deal. Just something that kind of bothered me. Let's talk about the actual speakers in this thing, but let's pause here for a second. When the Echo lineup originally came out from Amazon uh, quite a few years ago, it was a smart speaker. That's how it was marketed. Now we have smart speakers. You still have a variety of Echo smart speakers, but we also have these new smart displays. This one in the 10 inch version particularly. So the reason I mention that is because the primary focus for this product specifically, not necessarily other Echo products, is the screen and the features that the screen does and the voice recognition software built into it. Since it is primarily a smart display, the speakers come afterwards. So you can probably tell where this is kind of going, but let's talk about some of the actual speakers built in here. It does have a 2.1 system in here, so it has two one inch tweeters and then a three inch subwoofer built into it. And the best way I would describe the sound quality is just fine. Uh, I compared it to the old second generation and it doesn't really sound much different. In fact, in some situations, the second generation Echo Show 10 honestly sounded a little better, had a little bit more heavy on the bass, which is, I like a lot of bass in my songs, so that was a preference to me. But the actual device does get very loud and there's no distortion in it. So if you're just using it to play music, listen to podcasts, audiobooks, videos, whatever you wanna do, if you're not an audiophile, the audio is gonna be fine in here but it's not the best. I have a couple Apple HomePods around my house and those are, I believe, two-year-old technology at this point. I can't remember exactly when they came out, but those are actually better than this new product that Amazon has came out with. They get louder, the audio is a little more clear and the bass is uh, much more present. So again, if you're not an audiophile, this probably isn't that big a deal. That music will work just fine for you, whatever you're listening to on this. But if you're an audiophile, 
you're gonna notice that this isn't the best speaker and you probably wanna go with something like Sonos or maybe some Bose around your house because those are gonna give you much better sound quality compared to this Echo product. So next, let's unmute this so that we enable the motion and talk about the actual motorized screen and the motion feature that's built into this Echo product because that's kind of the big deal here. That's the biggest new feature with this generation. So overall, it works pretty well. If you're gonna be using this thing for video calls or just anytime you use the wake word, which I'm not gonna say because I know you might have echoes around your house, it's gonna track your face pretty well. And really the big primary focus is at least what they're marketing this for is when you're using video calls with your family or friends, they'll be able to track you around the room as you move. Now I tested this out a bit, but I don't have a lot of video calls that I ever do on the Echo. I'm not sure who does actually. If, if you make a lot of video calls on your Echo, let me know in the comments because this is gonna be a perfect device for you. What I primarily was using this for is just for regular uh, Echo commands as well as a security camera, which is a feature we're gonna talk about in a minute here that they have built into the actual Amazon app on your smartphone. Now you can also adjust the actual motion preferences in here, sort of. There's, a, there's an issue that I'm gonna talk about. Let's get into it though. So to get to the motion preferences on the actual display itself, you just wanna swipe down on the actual device and go to settings. Once you're in settings, there'll be a motion option here. And it's from here where you can enable or disable the motion as well as set your motion preferences. So if you don't want the motion to work at all, you probably shouldn't get the third generation Echo. You should just get the second generation and save a couple bucks. But if you do want it enabled, you should keep the option that it has enabled. If you want to change the actual preference though, you can click on motion preference here and you'll have a few different options. So during all activities will mean that anytime you say the wake word, the Echo will actually follow your face around to constantly keep you in frame and hopefully keep you center with the screen. The other option we have here is during select activities. So what this is, is just when you're using it for video calls, watching videos from on the internet or looking at recipes. Basically, if you're just asking the Echo what two plus two is, it won't necessarily turn to face you. And the last option we have here is on request. So you actually have to trigger the Echo and tell it to follow you around if you want it to actually follow you. Here's the issue with this. None of them work, at least for me. So what I wanted, I wanted is to do it during select activities. I don't necessarily want this thing always looking at me when I'm just asking it who won the baseball game or who won the hockey game or something like that. But these preferences do not save and I'm not sure why. I've went into my Amazon app and I've tried saving them that way. I've went into here multiple times and tried saving it that way. I've reset the device. I've unplugged the device and plugged it back in again. It just won't save. This thing constantly follows me around anytime I say the wake words. So if that's something that might bother you, I think they can fix this with a quick software update, but they haven't done so yet. It is a new product, so I'll give them some leeway there. But the motion preferences, they're available, they just don't work. If you have one of these and it's working for you, if the motion preferences are working, let me know in the comments. Maybe I just have a bad unit or maybe it's been fixed by the time you guys watch this video. But for now, they're not working. Just gonna get that back in frame, all right. Now the next thing, and one of my favorite features, and one of the reasons I actually bought this device is the security camera feature that it offers. So you can actually go into your Amazon app and click on this device and you can use it as a security camera. More importantly, you can actually drag your finger around your phone and this will actually move and just act as a security camera. So aside just from wanting an Echo device in the current room that I have here, I only have the HomePod, I also wanted to get a security camera and that is probably the main reason that I decided to purchase this device. And it works great because it's wide angle and it has a 13 megapixel camera in it. The, the quality is pretty good and you can move it around, which is something you can't do with a lot of cameras. The big issue I had here and the one thing that makes it not really a really great security camera is there's no night mode on this. So if you have a dark room and there's no sunlight coming in or you don't have any lights on, and you're trying to view the security from your phone, you're not gonna be able to see anything. It's just gonna be completely dark and you won't be able to tell what's going on in your room and that kind of defeats the purpose of a security camera. Why the people at Amazon decided not to enable night mode on this and also market it as a security camera, I do not know. I don't think it would have cost that much more to have the hardware that enables night mode on a camera, but maybe in the fourth generation Echo we'll see it. It was actually pretty disappointing for me. I didn't know it was in there, but Usually I have a light on, I can actually trigger my lights uh, from my phone in this room, so it's not that big a deal. It would be nice to have. Now, of course, since this is a smart display, you can pretty much do not everything, but a lot of the things that you could do with your voice, you can actually just do with the touchscreen on this, whether that's turning lights on or, on or off or 
interacting with various smart devices around your house, if you don't want to use your voice, you can actually just use the display, hence it being a smart display. You can also change up the home screen here so you can see it's been kind of changing throughout this video. I like to keep the stock market up there just to see what's going on throughout the day, keep up some headlines to see what's going on in the world. And then you can even customize the photos that you have on there. You can have it seasonal, you can have your own photos of your family or your pets or whatever. So it's very customizable all through the actual app. And a lot of it you can actually customize on the device itself without having to go onto the Amazon app on your phone. It will also act as a smart hub. So Zigbee is built into it, which basically just allows you to connect smart devices in your home to it quicker uh, and e more easily sync together. Amazon Sidewalk is also here, which I could do a completely different video ranting or explaining Amazon Sidewalk, but to put it, um, I guess gently, to put it into pers perspective for people who might not know what Amazon Sidewalk is, it's basically a new communications network that allows for Amazon Echoes and Amazon Ring, because Amazon now owns Ring, to all connect together within your neighborhood. The catch is, is that you're kind of going to be sharing your internet with Amazon in this new program. So there's a lot of privacy concerns around it. Again, I'm not going to get into detail uh, on too much about Amazon Sidewalk in this video. So if you're thinking about getting one of these products, be sure to do your own research outside of this video on Amazon Sidewalk and you can decide if you want to enable it or not on your device. But that's kind of my review for the third generation Amazon Echo Show. Who this is for is kind of a hard question to answer. If you already have a second generation Echo Show, I'm not really sure if this is that worthwhile of an upgrade. The biggest feature would be the motion, if that's something that you know would appeal to you if you make a lot of video calls or if you just think it's cool. I guess it'd be a nice upgrade then. Or if you're looking for a security camera in your device. The current second generation Echo has a camera built into it, but for some reason you can't access it as a security camera. Otherwise, you'll have to decide on your own if this thing is worth the money and if it's worth the upgrade or the addition to your smart home. Other than that, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. If you're going to be picking one up, let me know. And if you're new to the channel, again, be sure to subscribe. We're putting out new videos here every single week. Hit the thumbs up button while you're down there. It really helps grow my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.